Hey guys, this is Brenda from Braze Ways coming at you to show you the last of my anime uh, notebooks that I've got. And this one's a real nice treat because it has a whole bunch of other animes that I haven't shown y'all yet. So I hope that you'll enjoy it. So let's get started, okay? First of all, this is a folder, or should I say a binder, that I got back in the 80s. And as you can see, it's very fantasy like very spatial. I just totally loved it back then, and I still do now. And check out that city back there. Isn't it neat? So let's get to it, okay? So here we have Alucard of Helsing. Helsing was one of those dark vampire animes. And I used to have the videos, but I ended up giving them away. And so I have only just some pictures now, but it was a very, um, very dark vampire anime that I did like. I did like the main character of Alucard. He was really like, you know, really out there. And, you know, if you're into vampires and everything, you probably will have thought he was very cool and everything. He could transform and whatnot. And so I made uh, designs to make it look like virus or something like that. And uh, these are the guns that he would use in the anime. And there were these really big, long sucker guns. I don't have no idea what they were or anything like that. But I thought they were so cool <laughs> that, you know, he would pull out this humongously long, you know, gun out and everything. And, um, yeah, so these are just pictures that I got at the library, like I said. This one right here is uh, Vash the Stampede um, from Trigun. Another anime that I sort of got into a little bit. Not really. Not that much. Uh, only when it came out in one of the channels that we had. But um, in the beginning, we would uh, they would show and try out different animes on this one channel that we would watch. And we got into uh, watching this one a little bit. But they didn't really run the whole thing. So I, I kind of dropped it. This is uh, from the Princess uh, Vampire Miyu Um collection or whatever pictures that I found so I thought that one was really cute and and I got that one and I got this one from uh also from the same uh anime and this is larva and uh that's another vampire uh anime and there he is again and there he is so I did some more um designs back here and he was one of my favorite characters so I obviously found a bunch of his pictures and uh, so, yeah, and I did feathers and everything. You know, it, it just depended on what it was that I felt like drawing. Here's another picture. And that one. So that the, that's the end of that one. And then uh, part of the markers that I used to separate some of the animes, I didn't do it all through the binder because I had too many different ones. This one's from Death Note. And so these are two of the main characters. And, you know, some pictures depicting... The characters of that anime and uh, I would write their names down and everything and of course I did all the writing and designs with permanent markers silver gold or with black there's that one and then we have uh, some pictures from Naruto and he was one of my favorites uh, Kakashi. Yep. And these are just pictures that I would find in magazines that we would get. And I just, you know, cut them out and glued them down onto acid-free paper. And, you know, did designs for them. So I could keep the pictures looking cute and, and whatnot. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to have enough time to do the whole thing, but we're going to see, right? And this one's another one called um, Wolf's Rain. Now, we were really into this one. This one was a really good one, and we watched it all the way. So, yeah, this one's called Wolf's Rain. And Tobey was my little favorite character, this little boy here. with the, And this is what he would transform into. They all transformed into wolves. So, if you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. Sume was another wolf character and and stuff 
Oh, yeah. And then, oh, this is a Final Fantasy uh, 10, I think. And I was really into this one with my son. We really got into that one. It was really cool. So here's some of the pictures of some of the characters. And um, this one, uh, Aaron, or Aaron, was one of my, our favorite characters. Yep. And there's Vincent. Vincent was one of one of my definite favorite uh characters. I liked all the characters in this one. I really did. And he had some really nice weapons that they would use or that he would use. <laughs> so yeah. So let me just skip through this kind of quickly because I'm going to run out of time. I already got six minutes on here. For some reason, my camera only gives me 15 minutes tops, really. So if I go over or, you know, it'll just stop and start another video. And I might do that. So maybe I should just let it run, right? And just do both of them. So it doesn't really matter. It's just that I hate breaking up videos because people tend to watch the shorter one and don't really bother with seeing the long one, which has all the info and all the better stuff than just the short one. I don't know why people do that. I guess they just don't want to look at a video that's lengthy, but then they miss out, you know, on what's going on. So this is Inuyasha. Oh, and this one was uh, called Ka uh, Kare First Love or something like that. And uh, that was a good one. So this is Sish uh, Sishomaru from Inuyasha, his brother. And I used to draw him. I actually drew him for a friend once. And this one's from, um, 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 what's it called? Oh, Descendants of Darkness. <clears throat> and so these are some of those characters. And, um, and mind you, I, I will just go out and just, you know, boldly say that, yes, there are uh, gay scenes or whatever but you know they're just people so you don't have to have a fit over anything right and um it, that's just the way animes are you just you know some of the best animes some people probably wouldn't agree with what they're about or whatever but i'm a very open-minded person i you know i don't have to like something to be nice and respectable but oh duo he's definitely one of my favorites from gundam wing guys i like duo if y'all are into gundam wing um you know let me know which is your favorite character but duo is definitely one of my favorites that's him right there because <laughs> i thought that he was really funny and he had a big mouth and everything i mean like like a big mouth as in you know he was very temperamental and whatever this is troa so these are some of troa's pictures and there's Katra and the gang there, right here. There's Troa, Katra, Duo, Hiro, and Wufei. There, I, I remembered his name, huh? <laughs> and of course, they would make him look. They would make them look like they were out there in real life, you know, and stuff in the magazines. It was really cute. I really like that. There's Duo and Hiro. Yep. There's Katra. I like Katra. He he was really an enig uh, an enigmatic character. He seemed really sweet and and cutesy and innocent, but you know he, there was more to him that met the eye. And so they had him there, and then they would poke fun of the characters sometimes, make them look like girls and stuff. But that wasn't the way they were on the in the anime. They just made them look that way. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. And the characters were funny. They were cute and funny. And, you know, they had their moments. Just like any other anime. They have a whole bunch of emotional... See, they made them look like little girls there. It was so funny. I like this picture right here. This one looks really nice. Yeah. And then we go into Yu Yu Hakusho, which was a favorite of my sons and I. And they had the... I don't remember all their, character, uh, all their names. Let me see. There's Yusuke. And it says Kurama. I remember him. EA and, um, oh, that's Karama. Who was this one? 
Oh, use K. Yeah. And there's EA. I, I didn't do any decorations on him, as I see. And then here's these um, other um, EA's pictures right there. So, yeah, there was a whole lot of stuff in these magazines that I could take out and whatnot. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then when I went back to, uh, what is this? I don't know if this was a, oh, Soul, Soul Calibur was a game. And this one was one of my favorite characters. I used to play him and, and uh, beat who I was playing. And then this is Dante of uh, Devil May Cry. That was another game. So, yeah. Let me know if you've played these games. This one's from Wish. And this one's a really good one. And that's the name of the anime. Or it was a manga, actually. It was a manga, and it was called Wish. And it had to do with a demon and an angel being in love. And it's kind of funny that they called him Cucuyo. Because in Spanish or in Mexican terms, Cucuyo, uh, which is spelled a little bit differently here, um, is like the boogeyman, basically. And... Uh, this is uh, Kuryu, and he was also like a demon uh, character, but he was really funny, and they would make him chibi, like, you know, like a little boy and stuff, and that was funny. I don't watch things that are like totally like, ugh, you know, I like things that are cutesy. I mean, they may touch on some topics and whatever, but that doesn't ever bother me. I just like the beauty of the illustrated work. The way the characters were put. I like the sound of their voices. I like the music. I like the backgrounds. Anything to do with manga or, or the movies, you know, it's just something that I'm so into. And then we go into Rurouni Kenshin, which was another favorite. And uh, this guy's name was um, Sanosuke. So, yeah. And then there's an art fan drawing there. And I think this one was also, somebody drew that. I'm not sure. I think somebody did. And then you went into Cowboy Bebop. That one I went into a little bit, but not as much. And we used to watch this one also on, on Saturdays while they still ran it on the channel that we used to watch the animes on. And then this one is um, the Hikaru no Go, which was based on the on the, the game of Go. And so there's the characters, the main, the ghostly character and the boy character that would play the game. And I've actually seen, I think, I think they had the movie. And I think I might have seen it a long time ago. And of course, I like this character here. And I've seen animes where the characters are actually playing Go. Yeah. And they're really pretty too. They really illustrated really well. All, the, all of these are the that he could no go. And I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Rob, who went to Japan before we met, uh, was trying to help me how to pronunciate some of the stuff that I didn't know. And then uh, let's see here. Okay, no, this is another he could no go. These. Uh, pages here are really thick. Uh, they, they were a different type of paper altogether. They were more thicker. These are some of the characters from that one. And then this one's another one called, um, it's called, oh, Escaflone. And these are two of the main characters right here. And there's, um, I forget his name. What was his name? Vaughn or Van? Vaughn. <laughs> And this was the bad guy, Dylan Dow or Delando. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I always said Dylan Dow, but I don't know if that's correct or not. And he was bad, but, you know, sometimes I like the bad boys. <laughs> and this is from uh, Ronin uh, Warriors. Um, I think that was the way it was, or the, yeah, the Ronin Warriors. And I liked all their characters in that one. And this one was one of the favorites that we had as well. And uh, let's see, who was my favorite? I don't even remember who that my favorite was. Sai? It could have been Sai. He was, I think, a blue one. Of course. <laughs> oh, no, Rowan. Rowan. Yeah, there you go. Well, Sai was good, too. And I, Well, I liked them all. I really did. I really liked them all. And there's, uh, yeah, this is Sai. 
And then this is Kento. Kento was pretty cool. And then, of course, I liked uh, Anubis. He was definitely a fave. And then they had where they were making fun of them. So I was like, ha, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, there's some more pictures. This one's a really nice one right there. Yeah, and the characters on that one. As I put them down, Rio, Rowan, Sage, Kento, and Sai. And they were definitely a fave. And then this one's from Gundam Seed, which was another Gundam anime that we watched for a while. So this is two of those characters there and right here. And then this one's from um, Evangelion. I wasn't too, too crazy about this one. It was all right, but I wasn't too, too crazy about it. And this one did have, like, well, not that some don't have nudity, right? But, yeah, I don't know. Th this one was okay, but it wasn't the best. This one was called, what was it called? Um, um, um. Hmm, Ultra Luck. I think that's what it was called. Ultra Luck. And uh, this one's called uh, Gravitation. And that one was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I think this is from Kare Kano. And that one's kind of cute. I like that one. And the uh, 12 Kingdoms. And some of them I got to know because of my son, of course. But I was doing my own thing while he was doing his. And sometimes we'd come together to play games or, you know, uh check out certain animes that would pop up. Uh, Chaos Legion. I suppose that one might have been a game, I would think. And uh, I don't know what this one's from. It might be from the same one, I think. And then Mirage of Blaze, which was pretty good. And I think, let's see, Bleach, of course. Oh, Bleach. My son was crazy over Bleach. My goodness. And, but that was a really good one. And they do have the the animated movie. I mean, they do have a realistic looking movie. And I just started watching it and it's pretty darn good. I mean, the effects and everything. Wow. Gotta watch that one. And I watched that in Nef on Netflix. This one's Get Backers. I don't think I have any mini pictures of this. Yeah, I don't. And that's the end of that. And these are just like really pretty pictures that I saved that I would find on the internet that I thought were interesting and cool. So yeah.